I work for the European Commission's DG Regio. This is the, the DG dealing with the EU's cohesion policy, that is the EU's main investment arm. So between 2014 and 2020, we invest 352 billion euros in uh, member states and regions. My specific job is to look at everything related to sustainable growth, being energy, climate, environment, in the use of that uh, 352 billion. We have heard uh, from participants here at this conference that they perceive the lack of finance as a major obstacle. Well, uh, EU cohesion policy will provide about 35 billion euros in the current financing period 2014-2020 to environmental protection and water is the most popular topic in that pillar uh, so it will receive about 15 billion euros. Next to that we will also have 41 billion euros for innovation in all areas. Uh, so these are significant funds but cohesion policy is not only about money it's also about uh, providing a framework that supports member states and their regions and cities in using those funds. In terms of cross-border cooperation, we have the Interreg programs that can be used uh, to support, for instance, networking and clustering. And we also have four macro-regional strategies in the four macro-regions of the EU, the Danube, the Baltic Sea, the Adriatic Ionian Sea and the Alpine uh, region. So these strategies, and in each of these strategies, water isn't identified actually as a priority area. These strategies can be used to um, work in a coordinated way on priority issues and to give just an example in the Danube uh, strategy uh, experts from Hungary and Slovakia experts in water innovation are supporting uh, the Ukraine Moldova um, Bosnia Montenegro where they are also you know in the same Danube uh, river basin where they still need this expertise Another area is innovation capabilities, uh, so the 41 billion euros that cohesion policy will invest in research and innovation goes through the smart specialization strategies of regions and member states. These identify the priority areas where they see um, opportunities for jobs and growth in terms of innovation in their region. We have the smart specialization platform in Sevilla which will concretely support member states in re and regions in, in, in taking up the money for that. And we are now also developing thematic platforms, for instance on energy, on agro-food, and these are two areas where water of course has a key role. Uh, another thing that we are supporting is in those uh, regions where, where they are a bit lagging behind in terms of innovation capabilities and in, for instance in using uh, Horizon 2020 funds which is another uh, source of funding from the European Union and there are ways to combine cohesion policy funds with Horizon 2020 funds. The Stairway to Excellence project will help those regions who are lagging behind in using those synergies. And then finally talking about administrative capacity, uh, institutional capacity, which uh, can be considered still as a challenge in, in, in some um, regions in Europe. Uh, we are doing uh, lots of projects in that area. One specific example that we have recently set up is the peer-to-peer -to -peer tool, where, for instance, uh, an expert from Greece who has a certain expertise in a public authority in Greece can go to Lithuania where they are specifically lacking this expertise in a short-term exchange so this can be a, a few days up to two weeks I believe um, so this is a very concrete tool where um, people from public administrations who have certain expertise in smart specialization in uh, financial instruments or in things related to water can go to another uh, member states or regional or local authority in the EU to help where this expertise is needed.